I feel like I may have caught something. Oh God, what is Come on, come on, come on. Are you kidding this? <laughs> We've got uh, this trim, it is a uh, cove molding basically that we're gonna put up around the ceiling of the back porch. You've seen our videos of our back porch. You probably didn't realize that it's actually not completely trimmed out. So I really love this miter station. The only downside to it is, if you notice here, we've got a wall right over here on this side. And over here on this side, we've got a wall. And that's only about a 16 foot span. If I need to cut something long, I can't hardly do that. So I usually either have to move this out or um, break out the old school. And uh, today we're going old school. Where are you supposed to be right now? <laughs> right here? No! Where am I supposed to be? Come on, let's go. Stay I don't want to be that helpful. I know, exactly. I'm putting that on the video. That's fine. What helper do you not want to be? I love being your helper. I'm sorry, what? I don't believe you. out of trim for some reason I thought we had enough trim it turns out we didn't apparently we just had some trim left over that we painted in Cohen's room so I feel like this is at that point on like renovation realities where they like they're like uh, this project has been cut short so clean out the drain no yes I don't want to it's inside there's a plus and it'll probably be really gross so that's a plus yeah. so Let's go do it. There's 20 years of freaking hair and nastiness and they're waiting on us. What? Oh, I don't know, it's not really finding much in there. I'm telling you, there could be a diamond in there holding it up. I don't think there's a diamond in there. What if it's a ruby, a very small ruby? I'm just gonna do the bows. Twenty diamonds come out. What if there's just like a coin in there? I feel like I may have caught something. <laughs> oh god. Come on, come on, come on. Um, but weirdly enough, I kind of want to go through all the other drains and see what we find. <laughs> Go ahead and put the old pork butt on here so that we got some uh, pulled pork to have for lunch tomorrow after church. Okay, so lunch is over and we're going to make a quick trip to Lowe's. I feel like we go to Lowe's like four times every weekend. Uh, we're going to go get a few more pieces of this cove molding try to get that finished up because actually it's not too terribly hot now this afternoon it's kind of cooled off a little bit so um i don't exactly hate being out here we're gonna get so, these pieces of trim painted up now that we got them back home i'm going to grab the sprayer right quick and it'll take approximately 90 seconds to spray them and about an hour to clean the sprayer but other than that it'll be fine Okay, we're done, and uh, we'll go spend an hour cleaning the sprayer. I'm just kidding. Uh, honestly, we will run a couple more coats on there, but that is about as long as it takes to do this. So um, I will say a, a spray gun is worth the money, in my opinion. They're just a little bit of a hassle to clean up. And <laughs> One way to get around cleaning the sprayer is to have your child clean the sprayer. <laughs> Yay! Uh, this is one of those jobs that I highly suggest outsourcing to your child. Mm -hmm. I like 
were always working in the dark. I do. I'm just glad that the snow gun has a light. Thank you, Milwaukee. Like in description. <laughs> So we got that last piece of trim in and everything went well. As you can see behind me, uh, the dark snuck up on us, but we did get it in. Um, the other thing is now is we got to get that pork butt inside and start tearing that thing up. I'm going to be like Malcolm. Mmm. Yeah.